It's a quick uh, video of a uh, upcoming product we're working on at Magneto Speed. We're calling the T1000 uh, target hit indicator. Uh, we had an earlier version at SHOT Show and we're continuing our development and actually have a few of these out at uh, shooting range here called Best of the West um, undergoing some heavy use cases. Uh, this one's obviously not mounted to the steel target but uh, you get the idea. So it's a very Magneto Speed like solution just one part mounts directly to the target. Um, you see it has this uh, flexible rubber member here that peers around the side of the target so the shooter would be on this side. Bullets coming this way. They impact, um, this thing registers them, determines whether it was a true hit or a chain hit or something like that and then um, shines a light back uh, at the user like so. So in this case, um, this one can also um, detect whether there was just a noise in proximity, like, and it uh, shines yellow in that case, or if it wasn't hit hard enough to register as a hit, which is the case, like if the bullet hits the chain or whatnot. It has two sensitivity settings, um, four different operating modes, and then a enable, disable for the um, uh, mist detector. The four operating modes are normal, um, short, long, and rapid fire. In rapid fire it uh, indicates each hit and then waits uh, I think two seconds and then blinks back more slowly the number of hits that it had uh, actually uh, sorry, registered. So I'm going to take this thing apart real quick so you can kind of see the guts of it. Um, so obviously you can adjust the angle by um, turning this piece here and then strapping it as such registering misses as we discuss rubber end caps these are not the final version and then uh, the main optic can slide out so if it in the unlikely event that it uh, got hit enough to take out our optic, uh, it can come out and then um, the user can replace it. And here's the actual core. Uh, you see here, so got batteries, uh, two double A's, and then you set the different uh, operating modes by this uh, dip switch right there. So that is it in a nutshell. She's aluminum extrusion for uh, robustness as far as um, uh, taking hits. Um, still working on um, final specs for it, but it looks like um, it will have over a year of standby time and um, over 2,000 indications in normal mode. That's hit indications. So just uh, reassembling here. So that's it in a nutshell. This is the, again, the T1000. It's a full hit there. Um, still under development, but should be coming out shortly um, in 2017. So uh, look for that.